Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to use KeyPass password safe. Just first of all, the down links will be in this YouTube description of uh, this video and it will be in the bottom of it posted on SAMP administration section. You, you want to download the professional edition as the classic edition doesn't have a lot, a lot of features compared to the professional. So when you're done, you want to install it like any uh, installer. And once you've installed it, you want to run it, and it will come up like this as a blank dialog. What you want to do first is click this blank page with the on the bottom right. It should be an asterisk. It's basically a new file. It will prompt you to uh, save a new file. So uh, name it anything and put it somewhere that you will remember. So I'm going to put it on desktop. And just press save. It will ask you to create a master password, so remember, just try and remember a password and just put it in. Do not tell anyone this password, only yourself should remember. And try to avoid keeping it to most passwords you have on most accounts. So once you've done that, do not click key file provider or Windows user account as, it, as it's not needed. Just press OK. It asks you to uh, create a database settings. You want to keep all of them as default, so uh, that means do not touch any of them. Just press OK. And once you're done, new things will come up on the left hand side of this tab and two sample entries. Just ignore them. You want to click the network, then you want to click this gold key with a green arrow pointing down. This is an add entry. Now we will ask you for these uh, fields, so uh, for the title, put above ultimate. For your username, use the username that you use to log onto the site. So not your display name, your username to log onto the site. So mine is this. For password, do not put your own passwords for when you use to log on to the bovearmor.org. You want to generate a password. So you want to click generate password, open password generator. It will ask you to uh, configure the settings. What you want to click is you want to click uppercase, lowercase, in digits. And for the length, you want to put 12. It will come up as 20, and you just want to put it to 12 by using the arrows or typing it. And once you've done, it will look like this. You want to keep everything as normal, advanced, normal, and it will just have a little preview so what your passwords might look like. Just press OK, and it will put your own passwords and everything here. For the URL, you want to put http colon forward slash forward slash above ultimate dot org. Now, once you've done that, you want to click auto type and you want to click this little box down here called two channel auto type. Just press OK when the little warning comes up and press OK. Now, you've got a new account coming up. You see this, and you want to log on to your account on the bovearmor.org site. You want to go to My Account and Settings. Now, what you want to do is you want to right click, copy password, like so, and you have only 12 seconds to copy the password into this dialog, otherwise, it will wait from the clipboard. So, you want to press Ctrl V, Ctrl V on that. Then, you want to press Save Settings then you would like to log out of your account by clicking this now I'm just gonna pause this video quickly so I can change to the real file that I have alright so uh, now I've got my real account up what you wanna do you wanna click on this dialog where it says username you just wanna click it once if so uh, this little thing is flashing for me it doesn't then you wanna right click on a bubble account and you want to click perform or to type. The reason why we don't want it to, you to type it is because if you do have a keylogger, it they can actually monitor you, but if you do this auto type it, they don't. So yeah, there we go. It's all sorted. And uh, yeah, I think you're all done. If you have any questions or any problems, please uh, comment on the thread or uh, comment on this channel. It's, uh, and you can use this program for any other account, so I'm using like for uh, YouTube, I might put it down for my email, it's pretty useful uh, password generator site. You are not expected to remember the password for your account, you can only access your accounts from home, unless you want to 
copy your uh, account password so like this for example you can put this to your this to your memory stick for a backup just in case anything goes wrong and you could take this with you anywhere if you want to access your account so yeah thanks for watching and uh, if any problems again yeah just comment on the channel below